got me gone out this liquor. I'm drinking Patron like he came in the picture. My stomach is tight like I just did some sit-ups. You know that I'm drunk by the way that I hit her. The money come on in the clubs. I dig it up. I'm looking for somebody girl from the picture. She came in with you, but ain't going home. Rust is a challenging survival game that emphasizes hardcore survival skills. Getting started can be difficult, especially when encountering other players who are ruthless. However, if you avoid helicopters, wild animals, and make sure your first home doesn't fall apart while you're away, you should be able to make progress in Rust. The game is all about building yourself up from nothing and potentially losing it all in a PvP battle, but that's all part of the fun. It's a brutal game, and mistakes can be costly, but that's what makes it appealing to some players. It's a game for those who have more time to commit to the survival experience, and the game continues to evolve and grow in terms of its community and content, providing plenty of exciting opportunities for survival. Subsistence is the game for players who crave a survival experience with a Stone Age feel, but with access to modern equipment. In this sandbox game, players must fend off human adversaries, wildlife, and AI hunters without the added challenge of supernatural threats. Players have the opportunity to build their own communities and establish their own mini-civilizations, similar to Rust, but with more realistic rules and less wackiness. It's known for its high level of difficulty, as it tries to simulate real-world conditions. Please subscribe and like the video! State of Decay 2 might be worthwhile if you're looking for a true experiment in how you'll survive the zombie apocalypse. In this game, you'll actually be responsible for managing a small community of people trying to survive the apocalypse to the extent that you'll regulate their lives and decisions, help them grow, get the supplies they need, and yes, fight off the zombies. Your decisions will affect lives so make sure you are using who you can. We got a zombie on the way. In the survival game Green Hell, the player must endure the hostile Amazonian rainforest environment. Green Hell focuses on PvE survival mechanics, where the player tries to survive by themselves or in groups while utilizing excellent base building. Yes. <laughs> Co-op mechanics in building survival the PvE is challenging enough to deal with that it makes up for the lack of PvP, making it a great game to try. Don't Starve is a video game about survival that was created independently by Cly Entertainment. The player controls Wilson, a character who is lost in a wilderness world populated by strange creatures and must find food, shelter, and resources while avoiding monsters and other dangers in order to survive. The game has a distinctive 2D visual style and an open world that is generated randomly. The player must control their character's levels of hunger, health, and sanity while also gathering resources and erecting defenses. The game was made available on a variety of platforms and offers single-player and multiplayer options. Subnautica is a survival video game similar to Don't Starve, but it takes place in an underwater environment. The game offers a more relaxing experience compared to other survival titles, and its unique setting, vibrant sea creatures, and the developer's collaboration with the community make it one of the best exploration games available. The player starts by exploring the sea from a submarine, gathering materials and resources while dealing with sea creature enemies. 
As you progress, you'll be able to leave the submarine and build on the ocean floor, eventually creating your own underwater world. Like most survival games, you'll need to keep yourself fed and hydrated, but you'll also have to keep an eye on your oxygen levels. Subnautica is a survival game that is not too demanding, making it perfect for those who enjoy deep sea exploration. Four shrunken heroes must band together to fight the forces An action-adventure video game is called Grounded. The setting of the game is a backyard, and the player controls a person who has been reduced to the size of an ant. The player must gather supplies, construct a shelter, and protect themselves from the different insects and arachnids that live in the backyard in order to survive. The game has an original visual aesthetic, with realistically detailed environments and creatures. The player can complete various missions and objectives while exploring the backyard and learning about its secrets. Dr. Wendell Tully, the brood mother, the koi fish, and introducing Director Schmechter. The game is currently in early access and offers both single player and multiplayer options. The game also features a survival element where players must control their hunger, thirst, and awareness of the environment. usually involves starting from scratch, destroying the terrain around you to gather and craft resources, building your base, killing animals for food, and then it's time to descend into the mines to look for diamonds and iron. With the recent Minecraft Caves update, this has never been more exciting. Your Minecraft experience is unique, so it's up to you whether you play with others on public servers, recruit friends, or go solo and defeat the Ender Dragon. Regardless, Minecraft is vibrant, and developer Mojang just keeps adding more content. Terraria is a 2D side-scrolling game similar to Minecraft, but with additional features that enhance the player's experience. While Minecraft has since caught up in terms of quality, Terraria was one of the first games to introduce these elements and should be recognized for it. The game does not lose its appeal as you play for longer periods of time, and it can be difficult to put down due to its wild and unpredictable nature. The game also has a memorable soundtrack and includes RPG elements, such as befriending NPCs, defeating bosses, and the ability to play multiplayer with friends. If you don't want to explore the game's dungeons and villages alone, you can do so with companions. When No Man's Sky first launched, it wasn't considered one of the best survival games, but over time it has evolved into a fully-fledged exploration game. Now is a great time to play or revisit No Man's Sky, as it offers the ultimate survival experience for those who enjoy exploring the vast expanse of space, upgrading their ships, and befriending aliens. Players can choose to follow the main story, which is more developed than ever, or set off to roam space on their own. With a plethora of beautiful planets to explore, creatures to tame or fight, and endless surprises, No Man's Sky offers a galaxy of opportunities for players to get lost in. The entire universe is at your fingertips, ready to be explored. Few apocalypse survival games truly capture the intensity and desperation of trying to survive in a wasteland, but Frostpunk manages to do just that. It presents a unique experience of pain and depression, even for those familiar with apocalypse games. In Frostpunk, players are in charge of a community of survivors in a world plunged into sub-zero temperatures caused by climate apocalypse. The game forces players to make difficult choices as they scavenge, rebuild, and sacrifice to ensure the preservation of their community. Frostpunk introduces new survival mechanics never before seen in video games, and by the end of a playthrough, players will feel the chill of the wasteland and the heartlessness of survival.
Resident Evil 7 Biohazard is a new addition to the Resident Evil franchise, which offers a fresh take on the zombie game formula. Unlike the previous games, which were in third person and focused on action horror, Resident Evil 7 immerses players in a first person perspective and makes the protagonist more vulnerable. The game draws inspiration from classic horror movies such as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the Blair Witch Project, which makes it an exciting new entry in the franchise. This game is a sign of more innovative entries to come in the future. We need to go. We need to go now! The Last of Us is widely considered one of the greatest games of all time and a flagship exclusive title for the PlayStation. The game follows the story of Joel and Ellie as they navigate a post-apocalyptic United States ravaged by a mutant fungus outbreak that has turned most people into zombies. The level of character development, narrative twists, and emotional impact is unmatched by other survival titles or even other AAA games. Developer Naughty Dog truly outdid themselves with this masterpiece. One of the newer entries in the survival horror genre, Days Gone offers a fresh and compelling take on the zombie subgenre. Despite mixed reviews from critics, the game has been praised by the community for its open-world format and innovative gameplay. Players take on the role of Deacon St. John, a survivor trying to navigate the wilderness of a fictional organ amidst the zombie apocalypse, known as Freakers. The player is on a mission to find his wife who he lost contact with a couple of years ago. Days Gone stands out for its intense and thrilling gameplay, with hordes of zombies that make it a thrilling experience to play. If you're looking for a unique survival experience, Raft is worth checking out. This game puts players on a raft adrift at sea and challenges them to survive on isolated islands. Players must fend off man-eating sharks while exploring and building on the islands. Raft offers a mix of exploration and survival gameplay, and can be played solo or with a friend in a thrilling cooperative mode. It's an enthralling game that will keep players on their toes as they navigate the treacherous waters and fight to survive. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Please subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching.